bottom rope belaying. In this episode, we take a look at bottom rope belaying and how to ensure your climber is safely protected. Bottom roping is where the belayer is on the ground whilst the climber is protected by a rope from above. To set up the belay correctly, both the rope and belay device must be orientated appropriately to enable smooth and efficient belaying later on. Firstly, orientate the rope correctly by identifying the live end, the end going up to the climber's rope, and the dead end, i.e. the pile of rope on the floor. Next, pinch the rope and place it in the belay so that the appropriate ends are correlated to your chosen belay device. Some will have pictures as an aid. Ensure that both the belay and rope are captured in the carabiner and screw the carabiner gate shut. Notice how the dead end of the rope is coming out of the bottom of the belay and the live end out of the top. This orientation offers the best use of the device during the actual belaying technique. For ATC style belay devices, aim to have the dead rope running over the grooves. Ensure that the rope loop mimics the retaining strand and both rope and retaining strand are captured in the carabiner with the gate again screwed shut. A common mistake is for the ropes to be twisted in some way, creating a rope-on-rope -rope friction situation, which increases wear and damage on the ropes. Instead, aim to always have the rope looking like it is prizing the belay device apart and maximising the locking off effect from the belay device itself. To effectively belay and safeguard a climber, ensure that the dead rope is held at all times. This means that in the event of a slip or fall, the climber can be effectively arrested by a locked off belay. By always holding the dead rope, the belay will ensure that the device is always between the locking hand and the climber. The dangerous position is where both ropes are running parallel to each other, and the belay device is effectively not in use. The rope is only running around a carabiner spine. During the belaying technique, we aim to minimise the time the ropes are spent in the parallel position. Take in the slack by pulling down on the live end and pushing up on the dead end in a quick, short motion and bringing the dead rope back down as soon as possible. Try to minimise the time when the ropes are parallel and aim for short, quick movements to bring the dead rope back down as soon as possible. Swap hands so that one hand is always on the dead rope, but you are aiming to reset your hands to take the rope in again. Bring your live rope hand across to hold the dead rope so that the normal locking hand can move higher to be reset. Throughout the belaying, the important key things to remember are to minimise the amount of time when the ropes are parallel, and also to ensure that the belay is locked off as far as possible. A strong brace stance will help the belayer to stay in place in the event of a fall or slip from the climber. Stumbling or being pulled into the wall can be alarming for a novice belayer, which often results in an instinctive reaction to let go of the ropes to protect themselves rather than the climber. To create a strong stance, put one leg forward in front of the other. To maintain an open body and allow an efficient lock off, put the opposite leg forward to the locking off hand. For instance, if I am belaying left handed, with my left hand on the dead rope, Putting my right leg forward gives me the strongest brace stance. I'll even sometimes bend the back leg so that my centre of gravity is even lower to help belay a heavier climber. Aim to have your ropes free of twists at the top anchor, as these will cause the rope-on-rope -rope abrasion and damage to the ropes. 
before the climber sets off, ensure the ropes are running smoothly, with one strand either side of the anchoring carabiner. Try to avoid climbing under and around the ropes. And ensure the ropes are running cleanly before lowering off. To lower the climber, have both hands on the dead rope. Hold the rope with the lower hand and guide it upwards towards the belay. Grip with the higher hand so that the lower hand can slide back down, to then grip and guide the rope up towards the belay again. This reduces any chances of rope burn and offers the most control over the climber's descent. We hope you found this video useful. If you are unsure of anything, then please do seek the help of a mountain and structural guide. Thanks for watching. Thank you.